everyone. I'm making some bread today and I'm just going to bring you into my kitchen while I do a little bit of my preparation to get some sourdough starter going. Um, I have made this bread for years and years and years and it all starts with this little jar of starter. And somebody gave that to me years ago and it just consists of water and sugar and potato flakes and it ferments and every time you use the bread starter and you use some of it in here, then you add more of it to this jar. So I'm going to feed more of it in here, call it feeding the starter. And that's kind of what activates the bread and gives it the really special taste. But um, every week when I make bread, all I do is I take six cups of bread flour and a third a cup of sugar a tablespoon of salt and two and a half teaspoons of yeast or a packet of yeast and a cup and a half of warm water, a half a cup of oil and one cup of my trusty starter. And this whole recipe is on my blog. I have it memorized because I've been doing it for over 30 years. So all of that stuff just gets mixed together and the water is like bath water warm so it doesn't kill the yeast not too hot but warm enough to make it rise so I mix it all together and it ends up looking something like this I have it in a great big giant bowl and um, so anyway I'm going to just roll it out here in a second I'll show you what I do with it next but um, I just wanted to just pop on for a quick little video and just say I had somebody ask me a question the other day and it was about how do you mentor somebody? You know, we, we talk a lot about the fact that Titus 2 tells us that we are to teach the younger and we all have somebody that's younger than we are. And a young friend of mine is hoping to take some teenage girls alongside her and, and encourage them. And she said to me, she said, this might be a really dumb question, but how do I do this? what do you say what do you talk about and so i thought if she's asking me that question and she's been a christian for quite a while i bet there's a lot of other people that have that same question so i thought i would just answer that today while i'm making my bread here and so what i've done so far i've just put some of this flour on my counter let's see if i can get this to sit up and that's just so that the Bread's not gonna stick when I lay it down here. All I'm gonna do is just dump it out here. And I'm just gonna knead this a little bit. Kneading is just folding over, turning it, folding it again. It's just, everything is gonna get incorporated really well into the dough. It feels really nice because it's, it's soft and warm. So anyway, back to my subject about mentoring. I told her, I said, you know, just, talk to the girls about where they are right now. And if you have a friend that you're wanting to disciple and encourage in any way, you would do the same thing. Just ask them questions about, you know, hey, how's life going right now? And how is your walk with God? How would you describe your walk with God? So I'm just taking the dough right now and just gonna kind of fold it over, kind of tucking it underneath itself. And then I'm going to pop it into my bowl with a little bit of oil and I'll turn it over so that the oil covers the whole top of it. And then I'm going to cover it with a towel so that it'll stay warm and it can rise. And typically what will happen is the dough will kind of dome to equal height of my bowl. And this will take several hours or even overnight. Sometimes I just leave it in overnight. So I'm gonna tuck him in there and let him, let him have a little rest while we finish our talk here. So just asking a friend or a younger woman, you know, how's your walk with God? Tell me about how you got saved. Um, what do you do to grow in your relationship with God? Um, what do you do to read God's word? And if they just along the way, they may be asking you some questions. So just, answer them from your life and don't feel like you have to have all the answers if they ask you a question that you don't know tell them you know i'm not really sure about that but let me let me look into that and i'll let you know next time being a mentor to somebody else does not mean that you are you have arrived 
because none of us have. And I think that's what stops a lot of women from mentoring is because they feel like they should be perfect because none of us will be perfect until we get to heaven. So just sharing out of your life. And um, my friend said to me, and she was you know, really wanting to do the right thing, and she said, I think what I'll do is just kind of build a relationship with them first, and then we will talk about spiritual things. And I said, I want you to think about this. If our spiritual life is a part of our everyday life, why would we wait until we have built some kind of relationship talking only about other things? And she had on this beautiful cable knit scarf when we were talking. And I said, mentoring another woman and having a conversation with her is like your scarf. All of those yarns are woven together to make this beautiful knit scarf. And when you're talking to somebody else, how can you separate your Christian life from daily life? It should be woven into everything that you're doing. And just talk to her out of your life. And I said, you know, the scripture tells us that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So as you are walking with God yourself, and you're talking to somebody else, it should just be a natural outflow from your life that you're gonna be able to help somebody else. Just be you walking with God and telling them how you do it, all right? All right, let's get back to this bread here. I'm gonna cover this up and we'll let it rise. Jesus said that we are the salt of the earth. We are what gives like this bread, without the salt, without the yeast, without all the right ingredients, it's not gonna taste right. Without the salt, I have left it out before, it's really bad, so don't leave the salt on if you make this. But you and I are to be making a difference in the world, just like the salt is gonna make a difference in this. Yeast, in scripture, references sin. And if we have sin in our life, we're not gonna be a useful tool for God. So just keeping short accounts with God, walking with him every day, and not being perfect, but just being a Christian, living out the Christian life. So you have something to give to somebody else. It's as easy as that. So I'll show you a picture at the end of what this bread turns out to be. This will actually be two loaves. So you have one for yourself and maybe one you could give away. You might be like my little neighbor boy next door when we made sugar cookies together. I said, you've got enough cookies that you could keep some and you could give some away. And he said, well, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> so, you can share one <laughs> and keep one for yourself. All right, so over here, my bread is rising and it will produce two loaves by this time tomorrow. I'll have it finished and I'll take some pictures of it. Have you put together what I've just done? As we made bread, I just showed you how easy it is to mentor another woman. Just bring her into your life and the things that you're doing while you're doing it and you're teaching her how to make bread or showing her an update you've made in your home. Make some spiritual applications. Talk to her out of the overflow of what God is doing in your life. She will be so excited to be able to get with you again. She won't be able to wait. So don't wait, don't make excuses. Just Open your heart and open your life to another woman and bring her into your life and mentor her. And you know what? She's not the only one who will get the blessing. So will you. I know that from experience. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.